Okay, so I'll show you how this works. We want to take uh, the jacket off of this uh, wire here. So it's just the pure copper that's exposed. So what we're going to do is line it up into the teeth where we want it. Okay, so we're going to put it on this first rung. That's 14 to 16 is the size of the wire gauge. Okay, so that's where we want to go. So as you can see, as I pinch down, this part will hold the wire in place. This part over here will uh, then strip it away. So as I apply pressure to the pliers, it strips it like that. Okay, so basically, might even need to go a little bit smaller than that. We'll go to the 18. Okay, there we go. Simple as that. Now we have our nice exposed copper. After this uh, is done on both sides, we're going to take our connector here. Okay, we're going to put one side in here, then we're going to put the other side from this wire into the other side, and then crimp these down by uh, smashing them with pliers. I'm going to put on my connector. Okay, so once that's about halfway in there, I'm going to take these pliers here. See how it has the 16? So that's the uh, the range that we want to be using. So when I have it into place, I'll put it right in between here and just give it a good squeeze, and that will crimp the wire together. Okay, so here's the piece of heat shrink that I cut off, and I'll just be sliding it over the wire. And then that way, when we have it all connected, I can put it back over and heat it up to shrink it down. So as you can see, I crimped this one side of the connector. Now I slid my heat shrink over, and that way I'll be able to connect the other wire, slide the heat shrink back over um, the middle, and then heat it up to get it to, to cure around the wire. Okay, so as you can see, this wire coming from the plug is now connected to the harness in one continuous line with the connector like uh, this one underneath here. And uh, so now we'll just hit it with a little bit of heat from our heat gun and close that, uh, close that up.